Hi, my name is Paul Corbiere and I'm the music director at Roundy Elementary in Columbus Junction, Iowa. Here are some of my students and we are going to demonstrate the instruments from the Instruments from Around the World kit. I'll demonstrate each one and then we'll put together an ensemble. The first instrument that we have is called a gongkogui. Gongkogui, gongkogui. It's a double bell instrument. You may hold it this way. You can hold it this way. Holding it this way won't have a nice sound. We want the bells to ring on this one. Our pattern for today, and I'm holding the stick by the way, as you would hold any other stick, thumb and forefinger, other fingers wrap around, you're going to strike across the bell, not this way, but this way. This is the pattern we'll be using today. The next instrument is called a shaker a. It's a calabash rattle with seeds wrapped around it, kind of a, oh, a weave like a basketball hoop, I would think. You could play this on your leg. On your hand, you could even play it softly this way. Many ways to play the shake array. Our rhythm today will require us to hold our hand still and play on our hand this way. Here's our pattern. Not a lot of effort. This one is a little large, so instead of holding it back here, it's, you can control it better holding it up here. The shake array. This instrument is from Nigeria. It is the Uyat seed rattle. These are Uyat seeds that are on this, uh, looks like braided twine. You can shake it for a sustained tone, but we're going to keep a steady beat with this. Again, this hand is still, and we're dropping it on there. Thank you. Here is a frog rasp, best held on the smaller end of this stick. There's a thin end and a thicker end. The thicker end makes a nice sound. We're starting from the back of the frog toward the front, where the mouth is. Let the sound come out. The pattern we'll be using today is one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. The frog rasp. This drum right here is a double membraned drum. It's called the talking drum has a very funny looking stick. It's curved. It has, the drum itself has an hourglass shape to it, which allows us to pull these cords down tighter to stretch the head. When we stretch the head tighter, the sound goes higher. Let's see if I can play this. stick, the best way to hold the stick would be like this. And come down and bring it up so that you're hitting directly in the center of the drum. Unlike any other drum that uses a mallet where our wrist does the work, here on the top with the talking drum, it's a rotating technique like opening up a door. The pattern uses low sounds and high sounds. The talking drum. Here we go.
Mark on Cudley. Very nice, ladies. 